with tables and using mail merge. MS Word offers a flexible feature of presenting information in tabular form so that we can organize data efficiently. A table consists of a number of columns and rows. Let us first learn how to create a table. Word provides a variety of ways to create a table. The simplest way to create a table is to click on Table button in the Tables group on the Insert tab. Let me tell you how to use Table button. Click on the Table button in the Tables group on the Insert tab. Move the mouse pointer over the grid and select the number of rows and columns you want in the table. The table will be inserted on the working area. Okay, let me now tell you how to use Insert Table option. Click on the Table button in the Table script on the Insert tab and click on Insert Table option. The Insert Table dialog box appears. Specify the number of columns and rows in the dialog box and click on OK. Students, note the fact that we can also insert a table by clicking on Insert then clicking on table then clicking on draw table option select the line style and drag the pencil on the working area draw rows and columns using dragging method now let us learn how to enter data in a table click in a table cell and type the text to move the next adjoining cell either press the tab key or press the right arrow key to go to the previous cell, either press the Shift plus Tab key or the left arrow key. Enter the following data in a table as shown in Figure. Let us discuss about editing tables. After entering data in a table, you can make changes in the data as needed. You can insert rows, columns or cells in a table to accommodate new text or graphics. Similarly, you can delete unwanted rows, columns or cells from a table. To copy the cell contents, follow the given steps. Place the insertion point at 96 marks under English field. Press Ctrl plus C or click on Copy button on the Home tab. Place the insertion point at the cell under Hindi marks of minus. Select the original marks and press Ctrl plus V or click on Paste button to paste the marks. Alright, now let us learn how to insert column or rows in table. While creating and making entry in a table, you might need to add columns or rows in between. Word provides the facility to add columns to right or left of the existing column and insert rows above or below the selected row. To add a new column, select the column adjacent to which you want to insert a new column. Click on the top border of the column to select it. Click on the Layout tab in Table Tools. Click on Insert Left or Insert Right button in the Rows and Columns group. An empty column is inserted. Similarly, click on Insert Above and Insert Below buttons in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab to insert the row. Students note these few points. You can also insert a row or number of rows in a table by selecting the row where you want the new row to appear. Right-click on the selected row and select the Insert, then go to Insert Rows Above option. Let us now find out how to format a table. After we create a table, we can format the entire table by using table styles. Select the table that you want to format. Click the Design tab under Tables Tools. Select the style that you want to use from the Table Styles group. Time for Fact File Table Styles is an inbuilt facility to change the appearance, colors and borders of a table. Select the table. Select the Design tab. 
Click More button in the Table Styles group and select any style from the displayed gallery. OK, now I will tell you how to change column width. To change the column width, follow the steps. Select the column whose width you want to change. Click on the Layout tab and select Properties button in the Table group. The Table Properties dialog box appears. Click on the Column tab. Select the Preferred Width checkbox. Now increase or decrease the column width either using the up or down arrow or type in the values to set the width. Click on OK. Similarly, you can change the row height by selecting the row tab in table properties. Students, to change the column width by placing the pointer over the dividing line of the column. When it changes to double-headed arrow, then drag the pointer towards right to expand the column. Similarly, you can increase the row height as well. OK, let us now learn how to split cells in MS Word. To divide a cell into many cells, we use the Split Cells option. Select the cell you want to split. Select the Layout tab. Click the Split Cells button in the Merge group. The Split Cells dialog box appears. Enter the number of rows and columns into which you want to split the selected cells. Click on OK. Now let's find out how to merge cells. Merging the cells provides a way to consolidate data in one cell. To combine data in a single cell, you can use Merge Cells option. Select the cells you want to merge. Click the Layout tab and select Merge Cells button in the Merge group. The data gets combined in one cell. Alright, let us now find out how to apply borders and shading. To enhance the appearance of a table, you can apply a variety of borders and shading styles. Select the entire table by clicking on Table Move Handle. Change the line style and line weight in the Table Styles group on the Design tab. Click on the Borders button and select the Border Shading option from the drop-down list. Choose All option. Select the color by clicking the drop-down list of color. Click on Apply to text box and select Table option from the drop-down list. Click on OK. To give color effects to your table, click on the Shading button. The color palette is displayed. Choose any shade. Notice the change in the appearance of this table. Let's now learn how to resize tables. You can increase or decrease the size of a table manually by using end handle, but Word also offers ready-made solutions to resize the table using auto fit option. It offers flexibility to automatically resize the column widths based on the size of text in them. We can set the table width based on the window size or convert it back to use fixed column width. Click on auto fit button in the cell size group on the layout tab. AutoFit drop-down menu displays three options. AutoFit contents. It adjusts the column's width according to the text entered. AutoFit window. It adjusts the table according to the margin set on a window. Fixed column width. The column gets fixed and the text is wrapped in the same cell. Students note that when you insert a table, two new tabs, Design and Layout, also appear on the ribbon, displaying various table tools. OK, students, let us discuss about aligning text. Alignment refers to the positioning of the text in a table cell. Alignment is applied to the text entered in a cell. By default, the text is aligned to the top of a cell. 
You will find 9 alignment buttons in the alignment group on the layout tab. Select any cell entry and click on the desired alignment button. Ok students, now let's learn about calculations in a table. You can perform calculations on the numeric data entered in a table. Click in the cell where the result is to be displayed. Click on formula button in the data group on the layout tab. The formula dialog box is displayed. Note that the sum formula is already displayed. Click on OK button. Students, note that by default MS Word calculates the sum of values in the cells lying in the column above or on the row to the left. To update the total sum in a cell, make changes in the data and select the cell where total is displayed. Press the F9 key. Ok students, now let's learn how to use mail merge. In business, it is often required to send letters with similar information to different people. The letters require the name and address of each recipient to be printed on the top. So, changing the address each time would be a very long process and a big wastage of time and effort. Mail merge feature is used to combine a data source with the main document. It saves our time and energy to send letters at multiple addresses. Data source Data source consists of mailing list, for example, name, Address, city, pin, telephone number, etc. The data is organized in tabular form along with the field names. The data source is associated with the main document. So its field names can be used in the main document and it becomes easy to merge addresses along with the main document. Students, note that Field is a column in a data source that contains one type of information, example, name, city, etc. Record is a row on a data sheet. Numbers of fields make one record. Main document contains the text that we wish to send to all the recipients. Merge field is a data item such as name, address, city, pin, etc which instructs MS Word where to insert the data source, names, addresses, information in the main document. Mail merge involves three basic steps. Creating a main document, specifying a data source, merging the data source with the main document. Students, note the data source can be created in MS Word database file or it can be created in another application like MS Excel or MS Access. Let me first tell you how to create a mail merge document. To create a main document, follow these steps. Create a new document and type a letter or open an existing letter in MS Word that you want to send to different people on different addresses. Click on Mailing tab. Select Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard option from the Start Mail Merge drop-down options. Mail Merge Task Pane will appear on the right side of the MS Word window. Now select Letters option under Select Document Type section. Click on Next Starting Document Wizard Step under Step 1 of 6 section. Click on Use the Current Document option under Select Starting Document section. Click on Next, Select Recipients under Step 2 to 6 section. Now let me tell you how to create recipient list. To create a new mailing list, select Type, a new list, Radio button under Select Recipient section and click on Create option. The new address list dialog box will appear on the screen. See figure.
Click on Customize Columns button to add or remove fields. Now enter data in the respective fields and click on New Entry button. Enter three records of your friends and relatives and click on OK button. You will get a Save Address List dialog box. Specify a name in File Name, text box and click on Save button. Now Mail Merge Recipients dialog box will appear in which you will find all records you have entered. Note that by default, tick marks are placed on the checkboxes on the left side of all the records. It gives an indication that the records are selected. If you don't want to send the letter to a particular address, just click on the checkbox to deselect it and click on OK button. Now click on Next, write your letter, wizard step, under step 3 of 6 section. OK, we will now find out how to insert merge fields. Click on the Insert Merge Field button in the right and Insert Fields group on the mailing tab. The Insert Merge Field dialog box will appear with a list of field names you have created. Click on the first field name and then click on Insert button. It will be inserted at the cursor point. Similarly, insert other fields into the document. Click on Close button. Separate the field names by pressing the Enter key. Let's now learn how to view the merged data. To check whether MS Word has picked up the data source according to the merged fields or not, you can view it on the screen. Click on the Preview Results button in the Preview Results group on the Mailings tab or click on Next. Preview your letters wizard step under Step 4 of 6 section. The first record will be displayed. Click on Next Record button in the Preview Results group to view the next record of the data source. Alright, let me now tell you how to print your letters. You can take the printouts of your letter with the merged data of your data source. In order to print the letters, follow the given steps. Click on Finish and Merge button in the Finish group on Mailing tab and select Print Documents option from the drop-down menu. Or click on Next. Complete the merge wizard step under step 5 of 6 section and then click on print option under merge section. The merge to printer dialog box will appear. Define the desired print settings and click on OK. The selected records will be printed separately along with the letter.